Welcome to video tutorial number 3 Raindex software. Uh, in this uh, tutorial we will see what are the types of uh, products you know, adding method is there in Raindex POS billing software. The first one is that Excel bulk upload option. The second one is that direct purchase option or the third one is that one by one product add option. Now the in this video tutorial number three we will see the excel product adding option. In order to that you can add in, in this facility you can add thousands of products in one single excel sheet. It is very simple uh, procedure actually. I will uh, show one by one over here. You can see over here in the top import export excel. Here you just click on products. So there is no products right now. You can export the template first of all. Here you can see the export excel. Just click on export excel and uh, you just need to be wait for one or two or ten seconds. So automatically one excel sheet will blink under your you know in the screen in the bottom side. Just click on that you will see the blank template. There is some specific information are there. So when you are uh, uploading the products through excel sheet you need to take care uh, and you need to fill up all the information properly in order to that first of all you need to go to the products product section over here here click on that product section just to put some uh, name of the products over here just to put for example i will just increase the page size over here just click on for example amla you can fill all your products name one by one amla sugar or uh, jeans i will increase the page size again so that you can see over here properly and uh, once again yes like that uh, for example you have some other jeans and uh, uh, you know shoes shows for example pen pencil and uh, mouse and uh, you know pen drive like that you can add your thousands of products and in category you need to put numbers i will show you that one also from where this numbers is coming just i am putting all one and in the same category it will be this category we converted to ID number because sometimes when we are typing on the category name in each typing maybe the spelling mistake different or something is different. In that what in that case what will happen? The uh, you know we will not get you know proper uh, reporting system. And in the HSN code if you have HSN code you can mention it over here. Otherwise it's just you can type it over here. Any number you can mention. If you have the HSN code for those. Uh, specific uh, pro uh, category of product you can mention it over here this part number and the description is not compulsory if you mentioned it it is very good if you have any part number over here you can mention it some uh, products there is a part number is coming some uh, like uh, you know hardware products or something like that it is you know a vehicle uh, materials everything had uh, part number is uh, coming over there in the description in any product description is there you can mention it uh, there if how otherwise no problem you can ignore it the only one the two things you can ignore it this two all other need to be filled properly for example the purchase rate 100 rupees this purchase 120 uh, 130 something like that whatever the, your purchase rate you can uh, mention over here 145 uh, 150 or 155 like that and the sale rate for example uh, 150 uh, 170 200 uh, 240 250 266 uh, and uh, sorry i mentioned wrong actually here uh, 240 um, 260 266 or uh, 255 whatever it is your sale rate you can mention over here and in the retail price for example you are selling on 150 rupees and the retail discount is 10 rupees or 5 rupees you can mention over here no for example 5 rupees you want to give you want to sell 150 is the mrp and you want to sell on 145 you can put one 5 rupees discount over here and here you also each for example this product you have 10 rupees 15 rupees 
uh, 5 rupees, 8 rupees and uh, 10 rupees. Whatever the discount, retail discount you are providing, you can put it over here. And those products, any CGST, SGST, IGST. If you are sell, uh, selling on some um, uh, government plan, uh, maybe you have zero percentage GST. If you have GST, GST you need to, for example, 18 percentage GST, you need to mention CGST 9 and SGST 9. And this says normally zero or maybe one percentage. This one you can mention it and drag it over here. If you don't have GST, at least you, you need to fill zero over here or zero. Uh, you should not uh, kept it in, on blank uh, and at least feel like that zero otherwise you just put nine over here and nine over here it is 18 percentage you can just select on that and then drag it down and the reorder point uh, reorder point means the opening stock for example 100 pieces there the opening uh, stock 150 200 250 300 uh, 350 uh, 375 like that in the opening stock in in the opening stock you are selling one by one products so when the uh, if you are putting the reorder point of five piece when the five piece will reach the software give a separate list of low stock product uh, for example this one you can make uh, 10 piece uh, reorder point 15 piece uh, 12 piece 10 piece or 11 piece 10 piece like that reorder point you can maintain so that the peak selling time the you know the stock when is coming down you will get a separate list on that and here the barcode in the barcode specifically what i want to say some products here some products for example packed products or uh, you know company products you will get a ready made uh, barcodes uh, on those products they are just to click uh, mouse over there and scan it on this uh, with the barcode scanner just for example uh, this is the barcode uh, it is came from the for example like that it is came from the products itself or you can go with the series 1001 uh, 1001 1002 like that in the series you can go so this is the way for example some products don't have barcode some products don't have company barcode you can print your own barcode and you can fix it over here you can drag it like that it should not repeat the barcode basically if the barcode is repeating it will be a very big problem just uh, i will show you how to i will show in the desktop first of all this one and uh, i will show you how you can check the barcode repetition so uh, right now see oh, that nothing is uh, repeated over here so just now i will in the last barcode i will make it five see now it is uh, repeated over here see the this two barcodes is repeated this one if you have 10,000 products are there or 5,000 products are there it's impossible to track it so there is a simple formula is there in Excel just to click on this uh, line from the top click in the top like that like that here you tip, click click like that then the enter uh, this one will be selected just to go in the top of this see conditional formatting click on that here you can see highlight the rules highlight the cells rules uh, here you can see in the top the first one click on that here you see the duplicate value just click duplicate value again i will go there duplicate value click ok see it is already highlighted over here which are how many duplications uh, duplications is there it will automatically highlight for example i am uh, duplicating here for example i am putting here one it will also duplicate so you will uh, identify it's very easiest way so i will just change it uh, to here i will put it six so there is no duplication clear now it's everything perfect so next we will go to purchase unit pic you know sales unit also pic so this one you can select like that and drag it down if you have kg you have liters or you have some grams whatever the units just mention that one and in the size the size may be excel uh, if you have garments you have size otherwise na at least type na not applicable you can drag it down and the, in this software there is a special feature is called a sale wholesale price and a wholesale price discount for example you are a retail price for this particular product is some for example 100 150 rupees here 145 here uh, 170 is the next product 150 is the wholesale price and uh, 200 is the re retail price and 150 is the wholesale price like that you can uh, up to your uh, you know this thing you can change it if you have you don't have a 
uh, wholesale uh, business you can just put zero also wholesale discount is there otherwise you can put zero over there just to fill it everything and in the specific uh, information i want to give you once you fill it that, like that entire uh, things you need to finish the bottom line for example up to here you fill just select some uh, cells and delete it because up to here it will be perfectly uh, fit and in the right side also should not uh, mention extra things like just to type it like that and leave it it will confuse in the database so everything you should select like that and delete it it should be properly perfectly filled then here just i this one this file i uh, copied in our uh, desktop here over here this file book number uh, book number one here this is the file this one we can bulk upload before bulk uploading i will show you some two three things in the excel sheet we added unit those units should be there in the software so just go to master entry in the top click on that unit the PIC, you know, PIC I mentioned in the Excel sheet, right? I will show you the Excel sheet again. The PIC, you know, uh, that should be there in the software. Master entry units. We need to add here PIC, capital letter PIC, and save it. Okay. And whatever the units you are adding in the Excel sheet, it should be, um, you know, before uploading the product, it should be there in the software. And the second thing is that we have given one uh, subcategory name over here, number one. This subcategory also should be there in the software. Here we can see, first of all, you need to create one category. Then you need to go to subcategory again in the master entry itself. There is already one subcategory ID you can see. Uh, here ID number one. This ID number we use in our Excel sheet. And if you create something, for example, um, garments. Example. And you can select the category over here and you can save it click on new uh, garments and uh, select this uh, category save it so the subcategory number two already created see it is already created over here like that you can uh, create your category subcategory ids you can see over here no the mouse is coming unnecessarily i think <laughs> Uh, okay, this is the uh, main way. Okay, now we will go and upload the product. Before uploading the product, I will show you the stock. The stock button over here, the stock is empty right now. There is no stock actually. See, there is no stock actually. Just to close it, close it. Now we will go to uh, import products and import again. Here you go to desktop and select your uh, you know page book number one. Okay. Okay. You need to close that Excel sheet. If you get that kind of message, just go here. Close this Excel sheet first of all. Completely close it. Then import again. Products. Import. Select that file. Open. So automatically it will come if you keep open it will not import so all your information is came over here just click on save button so successfully this all product is saved and just close it and here you can see in the stock again stock in you can see all your product with quantity available and here also you can check the stock in the here in the top stock stock in here uh, show all stock yes all stock will become over here and the remaining part i will take in the another video how to do another purchase how to do one by one product add also thank you so much for watching video number three thank you bye bye